Hi guys, my name is Jeffrey Martin and this video is entitled Pacemaker Post-Op 7 Days. I just wanted to short uh, sh shoot a short video uh, on pacemakers. Uh, I just recently went through uh, the process of having one implanted in me uh, 7 days ago. Uh, I've been having some medical issues this past few months and the doctors were doing research and tests on me, uh, trying to figure out uh, what the best procedure would be uh, to make me feel better. And ultimately, their test uh, came up inconclusive, other than the fact that, um, that I have bradycardia, uh, which is a very slow uh, heartbeat. Uh, usually, the average heartbeat uh, is between 60 and 100 beats per minute and mine would average between 40 and 50 uh, beats a minute and sometimes would drop down to uh, about 35 uh, which would cause my blood pressure to drop and uh, would also make me lightheaded and make me feel like I was going to pass out. So the decision was made uh, by my doctors uh, to go ahead and install a pacemaker. So I'm 43 years old. Um, it was kind of a hard, you know, kind of a hard thing to take at 43. I'm still pretty young. Uh, um, so anyway, uh, basically the doctors um, did the procedure uh, last Monday, uh, which was December the 1st, 2009. And uh, today it's been seven days since my surgery. So feel great. Um, almost immediately after the surgery was done, I could tell a complete difference uh, from before the surgery started. So after the surgery, I felt great. Uh, I had color in my face. Uh, I felt like I had a regular heartbeat and I could feel the difference. Um, I felt great. I didn't feel um, lightheaded. I didn't feel like I was in a dream state. Uh, I, I felt unbelievable. I can't even explain the difference uh, having the pacemaker installed. Uh, just unbelievable. Um, so let me show you what the uh, what it looks like and it's over here on the left side of my chest and there's about a three to four inch incision that was done in the chest and the pacemaker was um, installed underneath the skin along with two uh, wires that go down to, into the two separate chambers of my heart. So that's kind of what it looks like. This is seven days uh, post-op. I'm going to go tomorrow and get this taken off and get the stitches taken out. So that's kind of what it looks like. Uh, it's not really too sore anymore. Uh, it actually feels pretty good, even though it's only been seven days. Uh, I feel great. So I was doing some research on YouTube and uh, was looking for some videos um, to kind of give me some information uh, about the procedure, uh, about what to expect, and really didn't find too much. Uh, so that's the reason I wanted to shoot this video. Um, for people that are going to be having this procedure, um, you know, and you're doing research trying to figure out what it's like, um, you know, what you have to go through, what are some of the, th you know, some of the worries that you have. Um, so that's the reason I wanted to do this video. Hopefully it'll help somebody uh, that is going to be uh, going through the procedure. And hopefully, you know, by something that I said will help you in your situation. So it's really not that bad. Uh, they give you a mild anesthetic um, to put you to sleep. Um, and then they cover you. Um, so basically you can't really tell what's going on. I was completely asleep for my procedure, uh, but some people are still, um, semi awake. So, um, but you cannot see what's going on and they do the procedure. They cut you, um, they do, they do the implantation of the, uh, of the pacemaker itself. And it usually takes between 45 minutes and an hour. And then they stitch you back up, um, cover the wound and um, then you go into recovery. Um, they usually will admit you overnight for this procedure uh, just so they can monitor your blood pressure 
and to make sure that everything's working properly. And to go ahead and test the pacemaker and, you know, make sure that everything's functioning correctly. And then, usually the next day, um, you get released. Um, I wasn't even prescribed any um, pain medication. So all they did is prescribe me some antibiotics, which I'm taking for 10 days, um, to help with any infection. So that's pretty much it. Um, that was pretty much the procedure. It was pretty basic. Um, I feel 100% better than I did before. Um, so this was an excellent procedure in my personal case. So if you have any questions or you're going to have the procedure done and you're kind of worried and, you know, you don't really know what to expect, you know, drop me an email um, and I'll see if I can answer your questions. So hopefully you like this video and hopefully you found it helpful and uh, I wish you luck. God bless you.